So let's type in animal, just so we can show something on the screen. Let's pick this green guy here, cause he's kinda cute and goofy looking. So we will bring the size of him down. I'm gonna keep him that size, so we'll lock that and bring the size of our pro video scribe student up just a little bit. So clear and reset the camera position. Let's go into the properties and bring the pause and transition time down to zero. You know what? I'm going to change this up a little bit. So what I want to do is add text that says beginner. Let's click on that. Drag that up. So I'm going to zoom out of the canvas. I'm going to first bring beginner over here on the timeline to the left. And I'm going to grab the pro video scribe character and this little green guy and move them way over on the canvas. Now let's click back on tricks on the timeline. So we've double clicked there. I'm going to grab the beginner text and bring the sizing of it up there. I'm going to lock that. Okay, so I'm going to go into the properties here in the text beginners. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to make the gap in between each letter bigger. So I'll just click on zero gap, which will bring me to the value option. And I'm going to type 15 check mark, check mark. And now the word beginner is spaced out a little bit more with gaps in between each letters. I'm also going to move the canvas over. So let's move it to there. Bring this word beginner over a little bit. And now I need to re lock this position because I actually like this guy with the thought bubbles over to the left more. So I'm going to click on him, push shift and click on all seven of those elements so that they're all highlighted. I'm going to clear camera position and relock it. So now all of the positions will be set to this new position. Okay, now let's go click on this guy next and see what's happened because I didn't lock the position for our pro user when I clicked on him, it actually just took me back to the camera setting that I had set up for the beginner. So I need to move the canvas over. I'm going to zoom out. Okay, zoom in to 100. Let's move this guy over a bit. We'll make him a bit bigger. Put him right there, clear and reset that camera position. Bring, I'll bring this little green guy up a bit and center him within the screen here. I'm gonna clear and reset that camera position. And I'm going to copy this beginner text, copy and paste. I'm gonna drag this over to the end of the timeline, go into the properties, go into the text here and change this word to pro, check mark, check mark. Where did pro go? Oh, he is back over there beside beginner, but you'll notice the spacing and sizing again is the exact same as beginner, which is what I wanted. So I'm just going to drag the canvas like this, highlight pro, drag over here, and I'm going to double click on our pro guy. Okay, so that's the camera position I want. I'm going to put the word pro right there for now, clear and reset the camera position. And why don't we add a check mark element. Check mark. I'll click on this, bring the sizing down a little bit, move it over. I'm going to lock that. Now I want to move this text over, bring it a little bigger, clear and reset the camera position for that. And I'm going to click on my pro guy and my little green guy. I've highlighted them both so that I can move both over. Push command and grab both of those and then move them more into the center as well. So clear and lock that camera position again. So we're going to make the draw time for beginner five, bring the pause down to zero, keep the transition at 0.5. 
because I said pro immediately after I said beginner, I'm actually going to bring the text of pro over to here on the timeline so it draws before our pro character. I'm going to go into the properties, pause time zero, transition time zero, animation point five, check mark. Go into the properties of our green guy here, bring the animation time down to point five, pause time zero, transition zero, check mark. And keep the check mark at one. Let's play that back. As a beginner and be a pro video scribe user by the end of this course. I have created. So I'm going to go up here and save this. I'm going to create a new folder by pressing that big check mark called video scribe promo. I'm going to click the check mark. A new folder has been created. Okay. I'm going to call this video scribe version one and press the check mark. So that's saved. So if I want to go check that folder out, I can go click the arrow back here to go back to your projects. And you can see this folder has been created right here.